Google Ads ad strength. Maybe you've logged into your Google ad account and you've seen an alert that the ad strength is poor. Well, in this video, we're going to discuss what exactly that means. Is it really worth paying attention to and how you can look to improve it if you think it's worth it. If you like this video, don't forget, hit that thumbs icon and subscribe. Let's go do this. Okay, if you're not sure what I mean by a poor ad strength, let me show you a Google ad in my account where it says that. Here we are in my Google ad account. And as you can see here for one of my ads, it's telling me that the ad strength is poor and it's going to give me suggestions on how I can improve the ad strength. Here's what most people won't tell you and definitely Google won't tell you is that by making your ad strength good or excellent, you might have an ad that doesn't actually read well. What do I mean by that? You'll see here the suggestions to improve my ad strength, be it to add more headlines, include popular keywords in my headlines, etc. The truth is it might not be relevant to do so. And sometimes what I find, you know, in the people that I help inside teachtraffic.com, that adding more headlines can often just make my ad not read very well. So for example, with this ad that I've got here about my online retargeting course, I have one, two, three, four, five different headlines regarding my course. And you know, if I add more headlines, what I might find here is that when I look at my preview, the ads might not read very well and might, people might not click on them because they kind of read quite weirdly. And therefore it might not be in my best interest to add more headlines because I actually would much prefer to have a well-written ad with good ad copy, less headlines <laughs> that for Google to mix through then to add more and it just be weird. But if I show you real quick, if I just pause this video real quick and add more headlines, you will see that this will improve the ad strength. But just to show you real quick here, I actually added a bunch of um, headlines, which you know I'm not going to use and therefore um, don't have to actually read all that well. But I have included I would say up to 15 different headlines. So I have managed to get this have a check mark to add more headlines. I also tried to include popular keywords in my headlines, even though I'm not allowed to have Google remarketing because they're trademark terms and Facebook, but I just tried to do it for the purpose of this video. And still my ad strength was poor. So I really don't pay much attention to the ad strength because I do know I have many, many accounts that I help people with that have a poor ad strength and their campaigns work extremely well. They get really good click through rates and really good conversion rates. So don't be too concerned about this ad strength. It's much, much more important for your ad to read well and actually address uh, what it is your offer is and to entice people to click if they are the right person that you can help them with rather than just getting this ad strength from poor to um, you know average or good. If I show you real quick in another account, you'll see here, this is an existing account. They've got their ad strength is average, even though these they have these other suggestions still somewhat outstanding. So there you have it. Don't really get too concerned about the ad strength. There are ways you can improve it, like I've shown you before, be it to you know solve whatever it is Google's telling you to solve, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's in your business best interest. Let me know in the comments below what you think. If you like this video, don't forget, hit that thumbs icon and subscribe, and maybe even check out my website, teachtraffic.com. Thanks for watching.